sure it's not it. <laughs> oh my gosh, Cass feels so bouncy. Oh, okay, round we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. everybody this is me and welcome back to another video so today I'm gonna to be doing a bareback challenge with the horses a little bit of an obstacle course now I'm gonna be doing this on Casper and Joey now the thing is I have never ever ridden Joey bareback so it's gonna be a little bit interesting I've got my sticky leggings on so hopefully that will help me cling on also Joey's a little bit bigger than Casper so it's a it's a bit bit higher up a bit further away from the ground so hopefully I do not fall off today I'm gonna take it slow and steady uh, I'm gonna ride Casper first because I have ridden him bareback quite a few times it's something that I don't do all the time just because he does have quite a sensitive back um, but I'm gonna be jumping bareback I'm gonna be doing some bending poles I also have some other bits and bobs that I'm gonna be doing but anyway let's go and set up the course Welcome to the area where I dump all of my jumps. I feel like I should probably make like a better area for this, especially in the winter when they're out in the elements with the wind and the rain. I'm just deciding what color to go for with my jump stands. I think I'm gonna go for green and blue for the bending poles and then purple for the fence or the jump that I'm gonna be doing just because I want it to all look sort of pretty and put together. So I'm going to grab these now. Oh my goodness, I did not realise how dirty this jump stand is. I think it's just kind of been living under a tree for a bit because I often use the green, yellow and purple jumps. But I thought, you know, the blue would be pretty because it kind of goes with my leggings. But um, the reason why I don't use the blue or the pink ones as much is because the poles that I have to go with them, uh, they don't, they're not as heavy, so the horses tend to not respect them as much. But I thought I'd give it a little bit of a clean and hopefully it doesn't look too bad. Here is the before and here is the after. They look quite different. I think it was someone from Team Touchem was using a blowtorch and apparently that got, because obviously it's faded quite a bit, they were using that on the jump stands. So that might be a future video idea for myself to give it a try. But for now, I'm just gonna give it a spray and a bit of a clean off. Next we have a barrel that I'm going to be using for putting the bean bag on that I'm going to lean down and pick up. Hopefully I don't slide off the side, so let's roll. The course is now set up, so I think it's time for a course walk. We're starting off going down the centre line. We have our bending poles, so I'm going to be bending in and out of these poles with the horses. Now I need to go for a little run. Then once I get to the end and I go around the last pole, I need to come inside these um, poles here and I've got to make them stand. So that's gonna be quite tricky because it's a tight turn and I've got to pretty much go from either trot or canter to halt. Then it's time to move on forward because we're doing a little bit of mounted games here. I've got to go around, pick up a bean bag, which is a pencil case with some lentils in, go down and then we have a bucket here. Now hopefully Casper doesn't think this has got food in because this is actually Casper's feed bucket put the bean bag in the bucket 
Then I need to go fast, 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 zoom around the corner, get them nice and straight to finish off down the long side over a jump. Now I'm gonna start off with a cross pole and uh, hopefully it all goes smoothly. I have a feeling that's not gonna happen though. <laughs> All right, so I am just putting on a DIY neck rope. Oh, it's a little bit tight on Casper. Don't know if it's actually gonna fit on Joe. Basically, I've got an old stirrup leather. It's actually not an old one. It's one that I stole off my saddle, but um, it will do. And I've put it around Casper's neck because in case I have a, oh no, I'm falling off, I'm slipping to the side moment, which will probably happen because the wind has just picked up as I decide to ride Casper bareback. Last time I rode Casper bareback was February 2021, so it's been over a year, so hopefully he is a good boy. You don't look very impressed, Casper. Not at all. Well, anyway, um, hopefully I've got something to hold on to rather than the reins, just in case something happens. Feels really weird because I'm not bringing a saddle out to get him tacked up. It's literally just my bridle. Normally I would ride him without stirrups a little bit first, but you know what? Today's a bit of a challenge. We're gonna go straight into it and see what happens. I'm sure Casper's gonna make today's video very entertaining. He looks half asleep. Come on, Caspi. Got a fun obstacle course to do. Yeah? Should you put your bridle on? Good boy. Good boy. He's so confused. He's like, Esme, where is my saddle? I have no saddle on. What are we doing? All right, come on then, boy. We've got a nice little course set up for you in here. Is his ears going to prick up seeing that there's a jump in the arena? Or is he just going to be... I hope he's slow, relaxed Casper, because I don't want him to be spicy Casper today. All right. I've just realised the first challenge we have is me getting on. I'm gonna have to do it without a mountain block. <laughs> All right, let's shut the gate because we don't want you zooming off, Caspi. All right, Casper. <laughs> he does not look impressed. Actually, he's looking at some of the things in here. He's like, ooh, what's this? It's a bit different and exciting. Okay, um, I'm gonna try and remember my <laughs> mounted game skills from when I used to ride Mickey. At stand, Casper's like, I'm backing out of this. This is not for me. Okay. I'm sorry, Caspi. I'm gonna have to do like a bit of a leg swing. Caspar, <laughs> he's like, Caspar, okay. <laughs> we need you to stand, this is not helping. Let's do this. And she's on, expertly done. I'm actually really surprised I did that first time. I honestly thought I was, not gonna be able to do it. You know, when you kind of like jump on and you're like half on and kind of flailing, I thought that would be me today. But you know what? I had, I had that impulsion, I went for it. All right, you have a scratch. Then let's give you a bit of a warm up, shall we, mister? Well, I'm glad I've clipped Casper because I think I have a bit more stick. It's a bit more like Velcro. Okay, let's get you warmed up. Let's have a little trot. A nice slow trot. There we go. We're getting the hang of it now, aren't we? He's like, girl, I know what I'm doing. It's you that's wobbling about. I feel like it's gonna feel like a shock when I go into Kent because it's got such a slow trot. And let's go. Good man. Ooh, there we go. It's the weird trot canter in the middle that's so uncomfy. Oh my goodness, my thighs are already burning. No, we're not doing the jump. We're not doing the jump. He was locking onto it. Good boy. Oh my goodness, I need to do more bareback. I haven't done this in ages. Okay, zoom, zoom, zoom. Good boy, Caspi. All right, we are warmed up. He's got a very slow canter today, which I'm not complaining about. Um, it's a bit more slippery than I remember it being last time, but we'll see how it goes. Got my strap to hold on to. What could go wrong? <laughs> All right, Caspi, it's a tight turn. Oh my gosh, canter. No, this truck, this truck canter is not it. <laughs> oh my gosh, Cass feels so bouncy. Oh, okay, round we go. Good boy. Got to stand. Okay, and we're up again. Oh, Casper, round we go. Good boy. Okay, we've got your bucket. Come on. No, it's not your food bucket. No, it's not your food. There's no food in there. Guess me. Get in. Get in. 
All right, Caspi, it's a tight start. Let's go. Go, good boy. Well done. Good canter. Okay. Oh, this is tight. Ah, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Stand. Not quite in the centre. That's okay. Let's go, 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 go. Okay. Got it. Okay. To the bucket. No, Caspi, it's not your food bucket. Get them. Okay, canter. Oh my goodness, this is my first jump bear back on him. Woohoo! Good boy! Woohoo! Oh. That, was, that was actually easier than I thought it would be. Lost the brakes a little bit to stand in there. He was in speed mode. But he was so good. Well done, Caspi. I have just finished the challenge on Casper and oh my goodness, look at the inside of my boots and my leggings. I cleaned my boots before filming today's video and they are filthy. Casper, you need a bath, but he was such a good boy. I'm so impressed with him. There was no silliness. He did the job really well and he loved it, especially through those bending poles and over that jump, he was proper locking on and go, go, go. So very, very happy with him. We might have to have a few penalties where we kind of went over the line when it came to having to halt within um, the poles. But apart from that, Caspi, I am so proud of him. However, I can't lie. I'm a little nervous that I've got to do this on Joey and I've never ridden him bareback before and I've got to go over a jump. This, this, this might not go well. <laughs> We'll take it nice and slow. Should we get you some treaties, Casp? Well done. Come on in. I'm just grooming Joey and I think it might start raining, so hopefully it doesn't. Because riding bareback in the rain, that's that's a that's an extra challenge. Yeah? What do you think, Joey? What do you think about me riding you bareback? Are you excited? Yeah? Look at the disgrace of Joey. Well, what I'm gonna do is, the plan is, is that I'm going to ride him in a saddle first because I don't want to die. Uh, then I'm gonna ride him without stirrups. And if that all goes well, I will ride him bareback. Uh, if he's really good, I'll jump him bareback. But you know, you've gotta take these things in small stages. You can't just sort of leap into the fire, but hopefully it goes all well. But if Joey finds uncomfy, because obviously it's a very different sensation for a rider to be riding bareback, could probably feel my seat bones a little bit more. Might have a bit of a bony bum for you, Jojo. Anyway, um, of course, you know, this is all new to him and I don't want to push him too far, so we will see how he goes. But hopefully, should be a very good boy because we don't want either of us being unhappy, do we? Oh, your face is just so dirty, mister. There we go. Right, so I've just warmed Joey up, went through the bending poles, popped over the fence. He's feeling a little bit on edge today because of course the one day I decided to do bareback, uh, the tractor has come along and started cutting the hedges. So uh, that's making a bit of noise that Joey isn't too pleased about, but he's feeling okay. I'm gonna first do the course without stirrups and we'll see how it goes. You be a good boy, Joey? Yeah. All right, I'm just taking my stirrups off. Oh, is the tractor going? Oh, please go away, tractor. That will make my day. He's do or he's gonna do another run. Oh, this is probably not a good time for me to take my stirrups off. Oh, well, desensitization for Joey. There's one stirrup. I could have just folded them over onto his neck, but you know what? I'm gonna completely take them off so there's nothing sort of crashing and banging around. The only thing that will be crashing and banging around will probably be me holding on for dear life. Good boy. Well done, Jojo. Good canter. Good boy. Man. Woo okay. Good man. Get up. Good boy. Well done. Oh. Good boy, 
JJ. Well done. That wasn't as bad as I thought. I felt pretty secure the whole time. Don't know if I'm going to be saying the same thing with the saddle off. Good man. Good man. Yeah. Good trotting. Now, what I need to do, he's focusing on the tractor a little bit. What I need to do is exactly the same as I did before. A lot of riders, if a jump goes up or something changes, like I have no saddle, they change how they ride and the horse picks up on that. And you did it so beautifully before, I just need to do the same thing. Now, enter. I'm gonna hold on to my neck rope for this. Good boy. Oh, good boy, whoa, whoa, whoa. Do it in trot first. Good man, good boy. There we go. All right, should we try and canter? Canter. Good man. Woo. -hoo. Good boy. Oh, you're so bumpy, Joey. Okay. It's around the corners that I struggle. Canter. Canter. Good boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Oh my gosh, this trot's so bumpy. Stand. And we're off. Trot on. Good boy. Oh, sorry, Jojo. And we go. Good boy. Good boy. Stand. Now this is the bit I'm scared about, the, tr the canter and the jump. Whoa. Ooh. Good boy, whoa, 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 whoa. I walk. I walk. <sighs> Joey, you're so bouncy. Joey has like nothing for me to grab onto. You saw how uh, relaxed and balanced I was on Casper. On him, is next level. He could have so easily put his head down then and bronked off, but he was so good. I think basically his trot after a canter is so bouncy. And what happens is he feels me sort of bouncing on top of him and he kind of goes, oh, that's a little uncomfy. Don't like that on my back. And obviously this is the first time I've ever done bareback with him. So I am super proud. There's a tractor doing some hedge cutting that he wasn't too sure about. There are very few horses in this world that you can just get on bareback for the first time do all of this do a jump i'm super proud of him and to think that i really lost my confidence with jumping him back in sort of 2021 winter and now we're here jumping bareback i'm just so proud of him he's been so good i think if i do more bareback with joey in the future i'll get a bareback pad just because I don't want his back to get sore or him to think every time I jump him he's going to have this big weight kind of go onto his back. We have saddles for a reason, but anyway, well done Joey, you're so good. Ooh. What a good boy, what a good boy, well done, so good, so proud. Alright, so I'm going to put Casper in mate don't walk away it's half on your ear this is not how you put a head collar on a horse or how you lead them because i don't even have a lead rope on me i really am not doing anything to the pony club rules today i'm riding without a saddle i'm leading without a lead rope oh well okay in you go caspi he's like this isn't my stable what's going on what are you doing girl here's a treat i've got a lot of treats here good boy okay let's shut this up because i was gonna have casper in his stable but i thought that was really sad because basically he was really far away so they wouldn't both be in shots as you can see i've got one horse that's very needy yes one horse that's a little less needy okay here are oh no okay you have a <laughs> you have a treat joey you have a treat casper okay are we ready for the results the results are in 
Casper did his bareback challenge in 48 seconds and Joey did his bareback challenge in 52 seconds. So Joey, you were only four seconds slower and with Casper getting a time penalty for not sort of standing within the lines or within the poles, I'd say that's pretty much a draw if you add on four seconds. So let me know in the comments below, guys, who you think the winner is. To me, they are both winners in my eyes. I did find it a little bit easier to do the course on Casper, I can't lie, just because he's a smaller, he's smaller being a pony. We could definitely sort of go in and out the bending poles a little bit easier. We could do the tighter turns, but I am so proud of Joey and so impressed for his first ever time being ridden bareback and for going over a jump bareback as well. I am really impressed. So anyway, guys, let me know if you want to see more bareback videos in the future. Might have to invest in a bareback pad because I'm very sorry, boys. I was a little bit bouncy in places, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm pretty impressed with myself. I didn't fall off, so there's that. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe because it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. I'll see you all next time. Bye. Where's Casper gone? Are you weeing in Mickey's stable? <gasps> You cheeky boy. Yeah, that's not your stable. Oh, you've had some water. Oh, you have a, oh my gosh, your nose is so wet. My hands are literally dripping. Okay, should we put you back out in the field then, boys? Yeah. Good boy. Oh, I've run out of trees. Sorry, mate. Oh my gosh, I'm disgusting. I'm literally like head to toe, hairy, slobbered, living the horse life. Good man. And now you're making a mess with your hayliage, look at that. Oh, I love you boys. Your massage is extra wet, but extra wet because it's all long. Got your tash back. Yeah.